हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू गुरुकुल लाइफ दिस इज वर्तिका नंदा इन टूडेज लेक्चर वील डिस्कस अबाउट द आर्ट ऑफ इंटरव्यूइंग विथ स्पेशल रेफरेंस टू प्रिंट मीडिया आई डू होप दैट यू विल एंजॉय दिस एपिसोड लेट इस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज एन इंटरव्यू द वर्ड इंटरव्यू इज मेड अप ऑफ टू वर्ड्स इंटर एंड व्यू दिस कैन बी इंटरप्रेटेड एज बिटवीन व्यू और सींग ईच अदर दिस मीन्स दैट बोथ द ग्रुप्स इन्वॉल्व इन एन इंटरव्यू गेट्स टू नो अबाउट ईच अदर एन इंटरव्यू कैन बी डिफाइंड एज अ जेंटलमैन कन्वर्जेशन बिटवीन टू पीपल और मोर वेयर क्वेश्चन आर आस्ड टू अ पर्सन टू गेट रिक्वायर्ड रिस्पॉन्सेज और रिक्वायर्ड आंसर्स सो वी कैन से दैट इंटरव्यू इज अ फॉर्मल मीटिंग between at least two people where the interviewer asks questions to the interviewee to obtain information and the objective of an interview must be clear before initiating the process this means that if you are planning to do an interview with anyone you must try to first of all know what is the objective behind doing that interview so who are the key people in an interview usually two groups or two individuals they sit each facing each other in an interview the person asking question is the interviewer and the person answering the questions is the interviewee in certain circumstances more than one person can also interview the interviewee you would have seen that format in many places nowadays certain newspapers also follow this format objectives of the interview so before planning and executing the interview the journalist must be clear about the purpose of the interview one must identify the reasons for conducting that particular interview one should also very clearly explore the type of the interview that is needed to be done and also where and how it has to be used this will help in laying the format and also preparing for the interview in a more professional manner for example interview in a breaking news situation will have an absolutely different tone and format as compared to a feature based interview pace language style urgency delivery location and purpose everything will have a different setting to understand more read about it and look at some of the stories which fall under the breaking news category and also certain stories which are featureish in nature and you will understand how the style and language of the interview have been absolutely different from each other the basics of conducting interviews for news stories now let us try to understand what are the basics which one has to keep in mind while conducting interviews for news stories especially for print media conducting interviews for news stories is an important skill that must be practiced by every journalist an interview is also seen as a source that can provide the following elements that are vital to any news story so what are these important points basic factual information perspective context on the topic detailed analysis direct quotes contact details of other sources and any other extra information so what are the requisites of an interview what are the things what are the basic ideas that you need while doing an interview a reporter's spiral book several pens and a pencil of course you must go prepared but what you think in your mind should also be written in some form in your copy you can also carry a tape recorder or a digital voice recorder but this is optional and you can carry this and use this only if you have taken prior permission a video camera for interviews you plan to also webcast or want to use it for multimedia 
but again you can use that camera only if you have taken prior permission from the person whom you are going to interview or from that particular organization so that you do not land into trouble later on. Who, what, where, when and how. Now these are many very important basic points that you would have heard many many times. So there are many basic points that reporters learn on the very first day of journalism school. You need to revisit them while planning for an interview which would mean you must know who are you going to interview, what is the purpose, where will you do that interview, when would you do it, how would you do it. You need to clearly work on every stage of the interview from the planning stage to the interview stage and ending it at the execution stage. This clearly means that if you have to interview somebody you will have to divide your work in three stages. We will talk about it later on. So what are the types of interviews? Uh, you would have seen many interviews maybe in print media, maybe on television or online media. But how many times have you actually thought about the types of interviews? So herein we are going to talk about that. There are several types of interviews and each type requires a very different technique. There is the casual interview, the personality interview, the news interview and the telephone interview. Some of these types are directly aimed at a news story while others qualify to become a proper feature story or a soft story. Irrespective of the type of the interview, elaborate preparation is essential. You can never say that you are going to do a feature story so it will be an easy task as compared to a breaking news story. You cannot say that because for every kind of a story, every kind of an interview you must prepare well. So we are discussing about the types of interview. Casual interview, you would have heard this term many times. The casual interview can take place without any prior information or knowledge. A news source and a reporter can get this kind of interview on the street or at a seminar. Which would mean, let us say, you get to meet somebody on the street who has some interesting idea to talk about and you have taken that particular portion which you would like to use in your story. Now this is a casual interview because you did not meet him or her with some sort of a preparation. You just got hold of that person and you want to use that particular portion in your story. Something that is said often without premeditation or design holds the potential to be converted into a new story or becoming part of one. One does not get time to prepare for such interviews, they just come. You have gone to attend a seminar, you meet somebody who is a known academician you want to use this quote for a story that would also fall under a casual interview category. The other interview type is the personality interview. The personality interview is usually obtained for preparing a feature story and ordinarily does not figure in a news story. There is not enough space in a daily newspaper for such an in-depth interview though there is always scope for an exception. Now go through different sets of newspapers, look for some of the personality interviews and it will give you an immense idea how journalists prepare for this category. The personality concerned may be a film star, a topper, a record holder providing interesting storyline. Such stories have a wider tar target audience and arouse much needed curiosity and charm because everybody would like to know what the winner has to say or what the topper has to say. So this kind of an interview type gives you an insight into the personality. Now let us discuss about news interviews. All of you uh, would be watching news, television news on a regular basis and I hope you also read newspapers and you would have seen several interviews which fall under this category. So now let us discuss what exactly it is all about. 
This kind of interview is conducted on a one to one basis and is usually focused on one issue or contemporary issues. Such interviews attract immediate public attention and are completely newsy in nature. Sometimes such interviews bring headlines to the newsroom. In case of a breaking news situation, such interviews bring forth the potential of giving birth to number of side stories as well. So what does this mean? This means that you may be interviewing somebody for some sort of a story that you are following up. But during the interview or after the interview you realize that there are number of other stories that could be linked to that. So there is a lot of potential in such kind of interviews. The telephonic interview. Have you heard about it? I am sure you must have. This is one of the most important methods of collecting information. In the world of television news, this is called a phone-in or a phono. A telephonic interview can certainly save time, but a, it has its limitations. Such interviews do not build up a one-to-one -one conversation. The reason for this is because you gave a telephonic call to somebody and try to collect information over the phone. A pause of a few seconds in a face-to-face -face interview may bring inconvenience, but a long pause on a telephonic interview may spoil the taste and flow of the interview. Also, since it is a faceless conversation, it becomes more formal as compared to a face-to-face -face interview. So, now let us discuss about stages of conducting an interview. In the beginning of this lecture, I had mentioned that an interview consists of three very important stages. So these are the three stages which will help you understand better what the interviewing skills should entail. Pre-interview stage, interview stage and the post-interview stage. So now let us discuss the first stage of the interview which is the pre-interview stage to understand the essential points that one has to keep in mind before the actual interview. So the pre-interview stage first of all entails, entails research. Do as much research as you can. Read as much as you can. If you are going to interview a police officer regarding a crime story, then you must read in detail about what that story would, what is that story about and make sure you understand basic terms related to the subject such as FIR, arrest, judicial custody etc. So whatever field you have chosen uh, and whosoever person you are going to interview, you must do a thorough research on that subject and read as much as possible. A well prepared reporter inspires faith in the person being interviewed. Always remember that no one would like to waste time with an unprepared journalist and that is how the key to knowledge is important. In the pre-interview stage, the other important dimension is prepare on every possible dimension. I was giving you the example, let us say you have to interview a police officer regarding a crime story. Now when you, you know that you have to interview him for one particular story, you must read about it from every dimension, from the point of view of the police, from the point of view of the victim and from the point of view of the general public. Write down points you want to cover during the interview and have them with you. Do not rely completely on your memory. Type up those points and supporting information so that you are able to take maximum out of the interview. Knowledge in the field will certainly enhance the quality of the interview. I would suggest to have a look at some of the interviews that you have liked in the recent past, revisit them and try to understand how that journalist would have prepared for that particular interview that will actually enhance your understanding. Make
make a list of all the questions you can think one can ask. Developing questions is very important because you cannot do your entire interview based on one or two questions. You would have you need you will need to have a set of questions with you. Once you are thoroughly researched your topic, prepare a list of questions that you think you can ask. That will help you remember all the points you want to cover once the interview is underway. In the pre-interview stage, you also need to familiarize yourself with the subject and the organization. Now, let us say you have to interview somebody from Ministry of Agriculture. You must read about the organization and also about the person you are going to interview so that you are aware of every dimension. Watch or read a few past interviews from the reporter covering your research area. It is not essential that you should completely rely on your own understanding. It is important that you take points from wherever and whatever is possible so that your research is completely polished. You should be able to find their past stories on their website or via their social media channels. You must know the person and the subject in hand. It is important that you go through the social media pages, Twitter handles to understand what they have posted in the recent past and what they think about the issues that you are going to pick up for your interview. Determine your main ideas, identify the key points of the interview and keep your preparation focused on that. You must know what you want from that particular interview. If it is a political interview, your questions must evolve around that. If you want to interview a person based on something which is about social service, then your interview must focus on that particular thing. Think through any potentially difficult subjects. Now, let us say you have to interview an academician and you do not understand this subject properly, you must identify the areas that you are not very sure of so that before you start the interview, you are absolutely clear about each dimension of that person or the personality. If there are any points about the concerned organization or person that you are not sure of, then try to gather information from authentic sources. But remember, don't jump into confusions. Look at every dimension of the story carefully. One has to be unbiased and non-judgmental. This is very important. You cannot interview somebody with your biased views. As a journalist, you have to practice being unbiased and non-judgmental. Seek suggestions. Talk to your friends, colleagues or your boss or mentor about the interview in advance. You can also take suggestions from the subject experts to enhance your understanding. Take suggestions from every possible corner. Never hesitate in asking because your questions will lead you to the right answers. If you are sure about your subject or the personality, you will be in a position to handle that interview more comfortably and more conveniently. Know your time limit. You must know what is the time limit of your interview. How much time can you spend with the person you have to interview? You are interviewing for a newspaper. So what is the deadline? Tell what time you have to complete your story. And what is what are the other deadlines that you have to meet for preparing for that particular interview so that you are absolutely correct on whatever you are doing. Identify the length and the duration of the interview so that you stay focused and get desired results. Now let us discuss about the scope of the interview because when you are interviewing somebody you will have to, to think about the scope as well. So while preparing for an interview you must remind yourself of the nature of the interview whether it is going to be for the main newspaper or it is to be used as a feature 
this will immensely help you in setting the tone because the tone of every type is different from each other. A breaking news interview cannot have the tone of a feature interview and vice versa. Establish contact with the person. Once you are ready with your preparation, establish contact with the person or the organization, call yourself and request for the time politely. Also convey the reason, purpose and required time of the interview. Be straightforward, provide your contact details for further communication. You have to be very clear on what you say. If you have already requested that you would like to interview that person for 40 minutes, then you must stick to that deadline. Your contact details should be correct and you should be easily accessible. Block time on your calendar to prepare and also not to forget. Note down the time and the location for the interview. Prepare well. Make sure you reach the venue before time, unrushed and properly dressed. Relook at your questions and be confident. You have to be completely professional while dealing with an interview and that is how it is important that you reach before time and have a look at everything possible so that your interview is done properly. Now let us discuss about the second phase which is about the interview itself. So what are you supposed to do during an interview? You have reached the spot, you have met the person, now how would you start your interview? So the first crucial thing to remember is to start it right. Start like a warming up session. Do some casual talk so that the conversation starts on a soothing note, especially if the interview is for print media and one has the time, then start with a breathing space, which would mean that you can ask that person about anything which is simple, not complex, so that there is some casual talk, there is a warming up session and then you can move towards the main part of your interview. Ask direct questions. This also means that your questions should be straight to the point if possible. Don't ask complex questions. Don't intentionally beat about the bush and never waste time by asking vague or unrelated questions. Now this is a practice and you can actually master this by repeatedly looking at the interviews and understanding the tone. So if you have to interview someone, you know you have been given a stipulated time for that. Be prepared to ask direct questions so that you are in a position to get direct answers as well. Be friendly. Don't deliberately offend the interviewee and try to be as much courteous as possible. During an interview, it is also important to establish a rapport. When starting out, don't abruptly launch into questions. Give some breathing space as I said. Treat the beginning as a warming up period. Talk a little with your source. Compliment them on their office or comment on the weather. This will put your source at ease. Keep in mind this sentence formation. Sometimes journalists ask very long questions and complex ones. Try to keep your sentence formation shorter. Keep it simple, short and never attempt to impress someone by asking complicated or lengthy questions. Always listen and nod. Um, generally reporters do not always listen. Practice the habit of listening. Also nod wherever needed so that the person is assured that he is being listened to carefully. Observe your body language and mannerisms. Do not forget you are interviewing somebody and if you want your questions to be heard properly, you should also understand that you must listen properly as well. Try to get the best out of your question. 
even if the interview interview is, is trying to evade an important question persist on your question in different ways so that you get some answer there will be many many occasions when interview would interview will deliberately try to evade an question and that would be your art to bring out the answer out of him and that you can do with some practice take questions from the answers don't just go by your notes try to take the conversation ahead by asking questions from the answers being given it will add a lot of value to the interview and will generate much desired results look at the quality of the questions always remember that quality of answers depends upon the quality of questions your questions should have depth and accuracy don't beat about the bush if you have read your subject properly you will be in a position to ask questions which are quality questions key messages are king connect back to your main points with phrases such as related to that or on that topic connect the dots that will give you the interviewee the impression that you are listening to him properly and that is very important when you will start connecting the dots your interview will come out really well presence of the recorder or the camera has to be kept in mind keep in mind even if a camera or the recording device isn't rolling and you are engaging in pre or post interview conversation with the interviewee that conversation has the potential to be used or quoted also never say anything that you do not mean be careful on what you share even off the record because you are representing your organization as well keep it natural as natural as possible an interviewee an interview can be an uncomfortable experience so keep things natural and very conversational instead of mechanically reading out your list of questions weave your queries naturally into the flow of the conversation the interviewee must not feel uncomfortable in your presence also maintain eye contact as much as possible nothing is more unnerving who never looks up from the notebook yes i understand you have to write on your notebook but what about your eye contact so kindly make an eye contact with the interviewee be open <clears throat> don't be so focused on getting through your list of questions that you miss something interesting even if you have other questions to be asked your focus should also remain on what is being said for instance if you are interviewing a film star and she mentions something interesting about an old film and has a news value then they take that into account as well this may take your interview in an unexpected direction but if it uh, leads to something interesting then why to miss it maintain control and the quiz be open yes but don't waste your time if your source starts to ramble on about things that are clearly of no use to you don't be afraid to gently but firmly steer the conversation back to the topic at hand the art of taking notes this again is very important you would have seen many reporters holding their copies with them there's a purpose in the beginning reporters are often afraid of taking down the notes word for word don't sweat it experienced reporters learn to take down just the interesting material they know they'll use and ignore the stuff that they won't this will come with practice but the more interviews you'll do the easier it gets you're not supposed to write every word being said but at the same time you're also not supposed to miss something important or misrepresent the fact you have to be factually correct so what is to be kept in mind while recording the interview one can always record the interviews provided prior permission is taken recording can be helpful if you are doing a long interview that you will have time to listen to or type out later but one must check the guidelines of the newspaper or website where you are working and proceed accordingly and whenever in doubt ask permission to tape 
But if you are doing a story that has to be written on a tight deadline, you likely won't have to transcribe a recorded interview. Stick to note taking for deadline stories. But also remember the golden rule, never rely only on your recorder. Always take notes even if you are using a recorder. Figuring dead batteries after coming back to the office will completely ruin your story, so prepare well. Also, wrap up professionally. At the end of the interview, ask your source if there is anything they want to discuss that you have not asked about. You can also ask about important links to the story that you might have missed out. Be sure about the meanings of any terms or words used by the interviewee that you are unsure about. And always ask if there are other people they recommend that you speak with. Also, keep your enthusiasm till the end. Don't look, dr look drowsy at the end. Don't look tired at the end. Maintain the same enthusiasm with which you started your interview. These are some of the interviewing strategies that I would like to share with you. Remain neutral, ask neutral open-ended questions, tough issues make tough questions, short questions focus responses, open people up through strategy, keep your facial expressions appropriate, establish rapport, build the interview on answers not on questions. Now, once the interview is over, you've come back to the office, what would you do? This is the after the interview stage, which is the last stage. In this stage, first of all, arrange your notes. Filter the most important parts of the interview, cross check your facts, verify whether needed and write your story accordingly. You have to verify each and every fact that you are going to present in your story. Do a follow up. If the interview requires a follow up, then you must do that. Write that in your organizer and follow whenever it is needed. While if the interview is not live or it is for a printed piece, then ask if it is when it is scheduled to appear and if you can review it beforehand because you would like to review your own story which is to go on air. You can also write your stories for multimedia, write your interview as part uh, as per the need of the newspaper. You can also think of writing it for the web edition or the online video section, make amendments wherever it is needed. Write down headings, captions and pictures, furnish your story with every detail, complete it by writing the heading, subheading, blurb and also captions. Arrange pictures according to the need of the story. Look at the social media needs of the organization as well. Keep in mind the specific social media needs and accordingly pitch your story. Go by the rule book of your office and don't forget to give credits for photos etc. Learn also how to publicize your story. Take your story to the next level and publicize in a very dignified manner wherever possible. Do a paper design, also make uh, a proper draft of the interview, plan about the placement of photos and captions if needed. But what not to do during an interview and what has to be kept in mind? Failing to ask, uh, ask a question, asking two questions simultaneously, overloading questions, adding statements or comments to questions using loaded or trigger words and questions and asking closed ended questions. And here are some of the additional points. As an interviewer, you must know that you have to be completely in control of yourself. You must know where to pause. You have to think constantly. You have to deal with statistics or boring data or tough data according to the need of the interview, making a change in the strategy as per the need, keeping an eye on your dress sense, keeping an eye also on off the record and on background comments, 
taking notes smartly, actively and promptly. This is the end of this lecture. Hope you enjoyed this lecture on interviewing skills for print media. These are some of the sources that have helped me in preparing this PowerPoint presentation. We are grateful to each one of them. All the best to each one of you.